Uh, oh no! Wait, here they oh, come. Maybe. Possibly. We think. I don't know. Anyway, the NSCC called. Apparently, they want to make sure they get a copy of this game to use for their broadcasting classes on how not to call a game. Yeah. Well, I can just go and tell them. Oh, we're going for a big team photo here right there we in front go. of us. I'm going to zoom out there, Duncan. You don't have the edges at all. Yeah, a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it. That's oh, it. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, you got the guy walking in front. Yeah. That's, yeah. Well, he's kind of in the way. You can't yeah. really get away from that. Everybody more guys throwing. walking. Now, who's going to figure out whose helmet is what after this? Um, that's your job. So, Jesus. I mean, oh no. Now, some of the guys keeping their sticks, others throwing their sticks away. Congratulations, thank you, gentlemen. Waiting for everyone. Well, Brad, thanks so much for tuning in for the alumni game. I hope we uh, tried to entertain you a little bit here this afternoon. We had a lot of fun calling these three little mini games. Complaints can be sent to CRTC. They don't even have their gear on. Yeah. Casey doesn't know where to go. Casey Brown. Casey, who moved up into a tie for ninth on the all-time scoring list for the, the Bearcats. I'm I'm sticking to that. I'm going to hold on to that argument for a long there time. There we go. And as you're talking, I get a nice photo of everybody. See, somebody had to cover for you while you were getting your photos. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now we're going to have – yes, that's it, Duncan. Oh, slow nice, pan. nice slow pan across. Make sure we get everybody in there. That's it. That's very good. And, you know, in, in all honesty, this was a great afternoon, some some entertaining hockey, and uh, the guys out there obviously had a great time, and that's really what these sorts of events are all about, to entertain the fans, to uh, bring back some good memories, and all of these guys have uh, great memories of their time here in Toro to, as members of uh, what is one of the premier uh, franchises in the Maritime Hockey League. You know, we talk about... The, uh, the class organizations of the league. Anytime you're mentioning which organizations really run their programs the best, Truro is always right up there amongst the conversation. And uh, these guys who are part of the history of this team are a big reason for that. And uh, to have that be said by somebody who does a lot of work with the Crushers, that's, uh, that's saying something. Pains you a little bit. Yes, it, does, it does, it does. <laughs> <laughs> So that'll do it for uh, for us here at the, uh, the Community Credit Union Arena at the Rath East Link Community Center in Toronto, Nova Scotia. We're going to take a bit of a break here. The time right now is 3.47. 4.47. 4.47, yeah. right, because the yeah. guy from That's Ontario came in with yeah. his screen, and it's yeah. one hour behind. So 4.47 Atlantic time. We can't even get the time right. This is great. Yeah. 4.47 Atlantic time. So coming up tonight at 7 o'clock is the semifinal of the Fred Page Cup. It is the Summerside Western Capitals up against the Cornwall Colts. We'll hope that you will uh, come back and join us for that one. For Michael Petter, I'm James Faulkner, and uh, for Duncan McLean behind the camera, thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll hopefully see you tonight. <laughs>